guys, it's your boy Reese Boy. We are cooking. We're doing a cooking mukbang, guys. I'm making my meat for the week because we have a hurricane coming. So I'm cooking, guys, right now. So good morning. Peace, peace, and peace and love. <laughs> so we're gonna add a little bit of. So all we put in here, really, guys, is some garlic. We've put some. Now we're adding a little bit of breadcrumbs just to give it some flavor. So we put some garlic, garlic, pepper. Oregano, Mrs. Dash. Mrs. Dash. We've had, we've had Mrs. Dash. As you guys know, I cook with Mrs. Dash. We've added, oh, we need to add a little bit of salt and pepper. A little bit of salt and pepper. There's some pepper. And it already has enough salt in it. And then you just want to start pushing it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I just did a short little live. It was about like nine minutes, guys. I know it wasn't that long. Thank you to L Dog for coming in that live. So that's cooking, guys. Let me see if I can move you guys a little bit closer. There you go. You guys can see now. Now I'm gonna fill up my water canteen and my water bottle. Okay. Hot. Hi guys, hi, hi. I look so small over here compared to the from that angle to the fridge. Look, the fridge is like up here. Oh, we got a lot more weight to lose, guys. A lot more. Okay, so that's filled. Now I gotta push this around again, guys. I'm gonna let you guys see it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, guys. So it's starting to brown up really good. Really, really, really good, guys. It's starting to brown up really good. Now I gotta start flipping it over. Cause you want it to brown up and then have like a good flavor to it. I think this shit so good. Okay, guys, we're gonna add Okay, guys, I'm gonna put you guys back here. There you go. So anyways, guys, I gotta do another goodbye to TikTok because tomorrow it's banning for real this time. I don't know if I believe this, but I don't wanna leave all my fans that have not found my YouTube channel just hanging like, what happened to Reese Boys? Or what happened to Max? So, all 4,000 of my fans, 4 million, all 3.4.3 million fans of mine. I don't want to leave them hanging. So hold on, guys. We'll be right back. Hold on. Guys, look at the juice. Would I switch this over? Look at the juice. You see all the juice? The juice. The juice, the juice, the juice. That's all the seasoning that I put in here. So it's starting to brand up a little bit. That's getting good. But I want to show you guys what I use. I'm going to show you guys the seasonings that I use. Here's our pantry. Okay. And this is all the stuff in our pantry. It goes all the way down. None of the junk food that you see in some people's pantries like in the movies. Ours is not like that. Ours has a bunch of seasonings. So this is one seasoning that I use, guys, that is really tasty. You can already see that it's half gone. But if you put too much, it makes your stuff very, very salty. So that's one seasoning that I use, okay? So go get you guys that. It's pretty good with all types of meat, even fish, everything, even in corn, anything. Okay, and then I use a little bit of this one. This is pretty good too, okay? And I used 
I used this one. This is my favorite. And you can tell that this one has all gone already. So I gotta buy my mom another one. But this is a good one. And then sometimes, if I feel like it, I use a little bit of lemon pepper if I feel like it. But this meal is already a mess out. And then I used a little bit of breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs are how you make like that nice crunchy taste on top of your chicken. Or you can put it with your um, mac and cheese. My sister-in-law made me a mac and cheese with some breadcrumbs. Oh my gosh, guys, it was so good. This was like two years ago before I started my diet, but it was so good. And I could only use like a little bit because that's literally the calories that are in it, guys. It's only two grams of sugar. That's not bad, guys. 1.1. That's, that's not bad. So I can have a little bit of it, guys. Just a little bit. I put a little bit in it. And then people use this in their mashed potatoes and how they make their meatloaf. So now we're going to go back to the kitchen. Or back to the stove because I hear my meat. And you guys can see that it's foggy outside because we're getting ready for the storm. Okay, so you can see that now the meat is bubbling, 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 bubbling. So it's not that raw anymore. Not that raw. And I don't know if I'm going to have this for breakfast now. Because I'm actually not that hungry this morning. That is the only problem with after surgery. You're not hungry. But you have to make yourself eat. Because if you don't eat, I get headaches. So I have to make myself eat. Oh my god, this is hot now. This is hot now. Hot, 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 hot. Oh my god. It's so hot. But it looks delicious and smells delicious, guys. I wish you guys could smell it. So when it's finished, guys, you're gonna watch me bag it up. Or I'll probably put some in a bowl for me and then I'll bag up the rest. And then I gotta cook some steak. So you guys will watch me cook the steaks next. So, um, come along, guys, okay? Hold on, guys, so get ready. Now we're gonna go get the steaks that I have to cook next. Cause I'm just getting my meat cooked up just in case we lose electricity, guys. I have it, see? So here are the steaks that I have to cook and season. So I'm gonna season them right now and you guys are gonna watch me season them. And I'm trying to use the, the kitchen before people come and it gets noisy in here. So I'm gonna set you guys right here. And I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is just basically repeat and use the same, use the same, use the same seasonings again, guys. I just have to open it with a knife, but I don't think you can show a knife on TikTok. So what I want to do, I hope this is beef and not chicken livers. Because I do not eat chicken livers. Beef. Okay, good. Because it looks, doesn't that look like chicken livers? I do not eat chicken livers or any chicken guzzards or whatever you want to call them. Okay, here we go. Perfect. So we're going to put the meat in here. We're going to put the meat in here. Because last time I seasoned it, but I did not get every piece seasoned last time. So... This is a really cooking with Reese boy, guys. So pay attention, guys, okay? Hold on, now I'm gonna get all the seasonings that I used earlier, garlic, little pepper. So we got all the seasonings, guys. I hope, I hope. Okay, so now we're going to add the seasonings to my meat, okay? And then this one I need to stir around again because I think this one is done. This one is done. Okay. This one is done. So I can actually turn the flame down on this one. Let me try a piece first, guys, on camera. We're going to try a piece, guys, on camera. You guys are going to watch me try a piece. Come on. Okay. We're going to try a piece. Ready? We're going to get this little piece right here. I'm blowing really bad because I don't want to burn my tongue. Good. Mmm. I wish you guys could try it. Maybe a little more seasoning, just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit because it needs like, unless I let people, people, um, Add their own salt. All right, sit you guys back there. Okay, so now we're gonna add some of this. We're gonna add some of this to the meat. 
I like this because you can turn this into like your own steak and broccoli. You know how you can go to the Chinese restaurant and you can get steak and broccoli? You can, and so I added a little bit of garlic, just a little bit because I'm not a big garlic fan. Okay, so you want to turn, you really want to turn that off. Not as good. You really want to turn that off. That tasted delicious. Okay, and then you want to add some of this in here to give it some flavor. The last time I made this was my own steak and broccoli. It was so delicious. Okay, and then you want, in our home, you have to put everything back, okay? So you want to put everything back. I don't know why I keep going to use that. Okay, then you want to add the last ingredients. Mrs. Dash. I said that so loud in my house. Okay, and then the other thing you want to do is take a lid. I should have done this with the chicken. And you want to shake, okay? You want to shake, 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 shake. And I just dropped a piece of meat. And it just, okay, just use your hands. Just use your hands. Use your hands, get in there guys, good in there, get in there, and just push it around. This is to any of the kids that are watching me that wanna know how to cook, who say, oh my God, Reezy boy, I watched your video and I learned how to cook. I'm like, for real? And to any of the parents that are watching my videos that they mostly just like my cooking videos, guys, there's a lot, there's a lot of cooking videos on my channel. And there's a lot more to come, believe me. Next year, I'm gonna be teaching you guys a lot of Jamaican stuff because my dad is gonna come on my channel. And he is from Jamaica, so he'll be able to teach us. So is Jama's husband, too. So I could be learning them, too. But we'll be teaching you guys how to cook some more Jamaican dishes. And since they extended my bus for free to go to Jama's house, guys, we have a whole other month, guys, that you guys got to come up with some challenges that you want us to do. But we got to collab together. Okay, so actually, I don't know why I turned this off because I need this now. And then let me pick this up. <clears throat> Throw this in the sink. Wash my hands off, guys. I'm coming. So this, we're letting this heat up. This is seasoned enough. This is seasoned enough, right? Then all you want to do next, all you, this is seasoned enough. All you want to do next is add a little bit of pepper to give it a little taste. Add a little bit of salt, okay? And then that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. The only thing is I just need to go shopping to get my, I need to go get my, stuff okay so i will be back guys i'm not gonna bore you with me cooking this one but i'll be back when i have to bag this meat how oh, it's hot so and i'll show you guys this finished product too so i will be back guys okay all right love you guys i'll be right back when i have to bag it and i'll be sitting down and i'll watch you guys show you guys the amount that i bag when i bag the meat and the steak okay Love you guys. See you in a minute. This is steak. It's almost done. So I have to just push it around. I decided not to show you guys me at bagging it because I've already done YouTube videos like that before. And I know pretty much of all of you guys know how to bag and eat if you need to. And it's really easy. It's really easy. All you gotta do is this, guys. Let me show you. Hold on. So all you have to do is just take one of these bags, these snack bags, guys and just put six ounces of the meat in the snack bags. That's all you have to do. And you're basically done. So I will show you guys when I sit down. This is my meal for the day, my little six ounces. And then this is almost done, guys. So thank you for joining me, guys. I will see you guys as soon as I sit down and we'll do a mukbang, okay, guys? We got something to talk about, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I actually changed my mind. I'm actually gonna let you guys see me bag 
Hold on, let me turn this off and push this around. One more. It actually looks really delicious, guys. Really delicious. I cannot believe that I'm a cook. Because a year ago, guys, you're, I was not doing this. <laughs> I was ordering out. Okay, so what you need is a little ladle. And this is six ounces, guys. I've measured it. So what you do is you take your little baggie like this. Okay. All my clothes make me look big, guys. I'm not that big still. And then you just take a nice spoonful like that and pour it in here. Like that. That easy. And then you just seal it shut and repeat to the next one. And then what I do is I put these in the freezer when I'm done. And they last me, like I said, about five weeks. Because I eat at Jama's house, but I eat healthy at Jama's house because Jama's not going to let me not... You know, Jama will not let me gain back the weight, and I'm so thankful for that. So I eat like a salad and different stuff because you guys know that Disney is feeding their workers still because of what we're dealing with. So I eat healthy over there. I even have a salad like pretty much every day. I'm, I'm to the point where my stomach is tired of salads. Like that's how I got. Like I didn't buy any salads when I bought my groceries because I'm tired of salads. Okay, so we have already done one two, three, four. We've already done four bags and the meat is almost gone. See that? We did three packs of chicken or ground turkey, ground turkey, not chicken, ground turkey. But these are six ounces guys that I need to get into my little pouch that sometimes hurts me and says, Matthew, wake up. That's not six ounces. And then I'm like, oh, yeah. So then I take out a little bit of the whatever I'm eating. Guys, pray for my appointment on the on the 10th, guys. Pray that this, the plastic surgeon can help me, please. And pray that the insurance will cover it. Because we waited. We gave them almost like, I think August makes, today makes eight months since my surgery. So, or no, the third makes eight months since my surgery. So... We gave them almost eight months since my surgery. So hopefully that's enough time. And they are doing essential surgeries or essential surgeries, not just doing emergency because of what we're dealing with. That's what the guy told us about a month ago. So maybe they've changed it because the last time I saw the guy, or when I saw the guy, it was like probably in June. So maybe they changed it. I don't know. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. So, but just keep your fingers crossed. Or if you're not religious, guys, then just, I don't know, keep your fingers crossed or something. But if you are religious, then just pray that they can help me. Because if they can get this lump off of my leg, I will stop being so in insecure about stuff when people stare at me or judge me or whatever. Because yesterday we were at... Um, we were at Publix and this lady was making a scene. I don't know why she was making a scene. And she was in a wheel, she was in one of those Hooper, the Hooper wheelchairs, you know? And she's just sitting there being like very, 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 very rude. And it was because she went away to go get an item. And you know how like you have to stand six feet apart. She was thinking that someone was gonna hold her place, but it's like, no, who are you? No one's gonna hold your place, you know? Just because you're, you know, whatever. She was thinking that like she ran the place or something. And I don't like when people try to use their injury, because we don't even know if they really are in a wheelchair, you know, because people can fake things just to get by. And she started screaming and cursing and everything. And then everybody's like looking at her. And it's like, she knew she was making a scene. She knew she was making a scene. She knew exactly what she was doing. She was trying to be trashy and that was not right. And so then, um, so then I walked by to go, to leave and she's just staring me up and down. You know, you know she was judging me because of the lump on my leg. And I was just getting like really, really, really angry because I was like, how dare you judge me? You don't even truly know me. Like that's the part that made me frustrated. And I didn't say anything. I kept my mouth shut. I didn't say nothing, but I wanted to. I really did want to. Okay, so now the steak is done, guys. The steak is done. I'm gonna put a little in my paint, my bowl for my for my graphics and then I'll meet you guys in the dining room. I'll come sit with you guys in the dining room and then I'll bag that in a minute. Stove is off, turn the light off, put my spoon, put this over here. All right guys, oh my gosh. 
<laughs> All right, guys, come with us to the dining room. We're gonna go sit in the dining room. Hold on. Okay, we will just have to make two trips. Two trips, two trips, two trips. Two trips, two trips. Hold on. Let me put you guys down. All right. I'll be right back. Let me go get my canteen. Ears just popped. Okay, I'm here, guys. I'm here. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to make my drink. Uh, so, guys, this is my favorite crystal light. I found it by accident one day, just by accident, because I was trying to look for some crystal light. My favorite of all times, guys. I have to be completely honest with you. My favorite of all time was the peach mango. Oh my god, it was so good. But the problem with the peach mango is it keeps me up all night because it has caffeine in it because it's a, like it's a tea and it puts a knot in my throat. I don't know why. Ever since I had this empathy or this this uh, burping problem, we don't even have a name for it. I did a test for it. They still haven't called me back. So people are like, well, that's a good thing. That means they didn't see nothing. I'm like, it's not a good thing. I want them to find out what the heck is going on because I'm tired of this burping thing. You guys, you don't understand. I get headaches. I feel nauseated. I feel dizzy. I feel like I want to throw up sometimes. Like, it's really bad with it. I get hot flashes. It's annoying. I can't drink tea anymore, and I used to love drinking tea every morning. I used to make a mocha. I told you guys about it. You saw it in some of my YouTube videos. If you go to my earlier mukbangs, you'll see them in my earlier mukbangs, my mocha. I could have sold that. I might still sell it because I still remember how to make it. My best friend, Simone, used to drink it all the time. She loved it. Okay, guys, so this is my breakfast this morning. So we have the steak, the steak that I just cooked, and we have the turkey that I just cooked. Or the, yeah, turkey. So anyways, guys, let's say grace. Dear God, bless this food and bless this day, guys, and pray that you protect everybody during this hurricane. In Jesus' name, amen, and everything else. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, guys, so. Oh, you guys get the first bite. My stomach is still upset. I don't even know why. Because I didn't even eat yesterday. Maybe that's why. Last night. Oh, we are putting up the boards. I might have to go soon, guys. Because I might have to help my dad put up the, the hurricane boards on the door on the window. If he's doing it. I don't know if he's doing it. I helped him last year. But last year, we put them up for no reason. Because the storm didn't even come this far in. And it didn't even, like, the winds were not even that powerful. It just rained really hard. But when Hurricane Matthew hit, oh, my goodness, guys, that was scary. Because I remember, I don't know if I told you guys this. Was I blogging? I don't think I was blogging. I don't even think I was a YouTuber then. In 2017, no. I should have been you. I should have been blogging. But, um... I remember exactly what happened that day, the, like that week. I'm going to tell you guys a little story time, guys. Listen up. So, sorry, this video is probably like all over the place, guys. I might put this first and then show you me cooking it. Or no, put me cooking it first and then put this. I don't know how I'm going to, how I'll arrange it, guys, but I'll arrange it good. Um, uh, <clears throat> thank you to the people who like to see me eat. A lot of people ask me to do more mukbangs, so that is so cool. So, yeah, I will start doing more mukbangs because a lot of people came and that's how people found me was because they loved me as a mukbanger. So, definitely. Um, so, what happened was, I remember exactly what happened. So, the storm was coming. I remember the storm was coming. And I remember we were getting all ready. My mom was getting all ready, you know, telling us that we needed to do this, this, and this, and this, and that. My best friend Darrell was here at the time, and I remember she was like, no, I'm just going to stay in my little house, blah, 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 I'll be fine. And my auntie's like, no, you're coming over. So I was like, thank you, auntie. And so my brother and his wife were coming up because they were in Tampa, and it was going to hit t Tampa directly. And they were um, 
at their apartment. So it wasn't safe for them to be in their apartment. So they were like, we're just going to come up. So they came up with my nephew and they came up and they they stayed with us. Um, my sister-in-law and my brother and my nephew, they stayed with us. And um, so they came up, I think they came up like on the day before it hit, like three days before it hit, because it was hitting us like Friday or Saturday or whatever. And they came up, they came up like that day. And then I remember, I remember it hit guys, it hit so like the winds were so strong like you could fly a kite how strong the winds were like it was i mean even you wouldn't be able to fly a kite because a kite might have picked you up i mean it was that strong like stuff was blowing over people's tents people's trampolines were blowing down the street it was flooding parts of florida just flood like i mean flood like even flood out people's houses like it literally like people were homeless like it kicked people out of their houses people were like clinging to the roofs of their houses because it flooded in different parts of Florida. And then I remember A1A is like this big tourist attraction street um at Coco and it got completely eaten out by the storm. Like the sand just eroded and there was a bunch of like sink storms and all this different stuff and it was just like crazy. Like how it destroyed the street. And to this day they're still still fixing on the street. And then like I remember the wind was so loud. We sh we had all the windows boarded up, but the house was dark during the day. And it was like the end of the world. It was so windy. You couldn't hear nothing but wind. And it was so powerful. At the time where the trees were like bending, that's how powerful it was. When you could just open your front door and look outside. Um, see everything bending, like all the trees bending. And it was just like we were in the eye of the storm. It was just like this. And it was so scary. And then you had to be brave because you didn't want anyone else to be scared. Like, I didn't want to scare my nephew because, like, you know, he's a baby. So that would have scared him. So we had to, like, be brave. And then, fat old me. <laughs> the week before the storm hit. Mm-hmm. Like Monday and the storm was hitting like Friday or Saturday. It was hitting Saturday. It was hitting Saturday morning. Friday, UBS dropped off. This is how much I was a fatty, guys. This is how much I was a fatty. I was ordering cases of Pringles, like 14 things of Pringles in a case from Walmart for I think it was like $21 or something like that shipped to my house because I couldn't walk. I couldn't go anywhere. So I was that overweight that I was eating Pringles like three times a day. I was, I had a can of Pringles from the time I woke up to the time that I went to sleep. I had a can of Pringles in my hand. And then back then, because I didn't sleep, I'd be eating Pringles all night until I went to sleep. I mean, that is so pathetic and sad, but that's what I was doing. And then the day of the storm, I had Pringles with me in my hand. But it wasn't that I ate them by myself. I did share them with people. I did share them with people. And it was a little scary because the lights, the electricity went out. Just for like, not even, it was just like 24 hours. But everybody out to his house, it was like out. Like my best friend, hers was out for a week. So she stayed with us for a week. But she was working, so it made sense. And then, and she just stayed upstairs. But it was cool because she was here and it was awesome. And then, I don't even think I worked with JAMA during that time. I think we did, but everything was closed except Walmart. Everything was closed. Walmart was like, like all the restaurants were closed. None of them were open because there was no electricity. Walmart used their backup generator to be open. No, I think Walmart was even closed because I think the governor put us under a state of emergency. So I think even Walmart was closed. Yeah. So me, I don't even think me and Jama hanged out. I think we just talked on the phone. That was it. And then everyone was charging their phone on the generator. And then we plugged it into the refrigerator and the stove. So we at least had those things running, I think. But there was so much flooding. I mean, it was flooding everywhere. So... 
We have another one tonight, guys. And we got to be safe. We got to get everything boarded up. We got to get ready. So just pray for us, guys. Keep us in your prayers. Keep all of Florida in their prayers. And pray for the Bahamas. They're getting hit right now. And I feel like they don't even get a break because they were hit bad last year. But I wanted to go to the Bahamas, too, <laughs> before it was destroyed again. No, because I, me and my sister found tickets there super, super cheap for like $300. And then they put you at like one of those big hotels where they do like the whole experience of Hawaii. And we were thinking about going, like all of us, like me and my two sisters and my brother-in-law, before, you know, this thing got super, super bad. This was like back in March. And we wanted to go this summer. But then what happened, they were like, we don't want anyone coming into our island. So they... They won't let anyone come in. But see, they're going to have to change that because a lot of people are not traveling. So prices for plane tickets are super, super cheap right now because people are not flying. So from like here to New York, I pay like probably like $75. Like it's not, I priced it. It's not even expensive. From Orlando to New York, please. It's not expensive. From here to Texas is like $119. It is not expensive. Round trip ticket. So it's not like just get you there. It's round trip ticket when usually they're like $500, $600. Tickets are not that expensive right now. And it's the best time to travel, but you have to be safe at the same time. So that's why no one's really traveling. Me, I left in March, and I'm telling you, there were seven people on my plane. There was no one there. The lady's like, you guys can sit wherever you want to sit, wherever you're comfortable. But I was like, no, I got to stay in my assigned seat because I was like, that's just who I am. I follow the rules. She's like, no, sweetie, you can sit wherever. I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'm staying right here. <laughs> But I want to go to Universal and Disney because my friend who works there, he told me the lines are not even that long. He's like, it's like a two minute wait, like literally when usually you're waiting about three hours in a hot sun and they have the little mist fans on you that don't do anything. So, but I love you guys. Stay blessed, stay safe, and I'll see you guys later. All right. Peace. I might go live today, guys. Bye. <laughs>